I got my hands on the brand new 7 Artisans 28mm 1.4 lens for Leica M mount. I'm here in China and I couldn't think of a better place to try it out. So this is the newest lens from Seven Artisans. It's a 28 millimeter 1.4 lens for the Leica M mount. So this new lens might be the best lens that Seven Artisans has made so far. It's a little bit more expensive than their other lenses, but I think that's not a bad thing necessarily. I think there's this kind of race to the bottom with these Chinese lens manufacturers. They're just trying to one-up each other on making the cheapest thing possible, but Seven Artisans doesn't seem to be taking that approach. They seem to actually be making lenses that are quality before being extremely cheap. That's something that really has me excited uh, about this lens and the future of their lenses. Because this lens is, is extremely high quality. It's more than I expected uh, in terms of quality. They keep one-upping themselves. The 50mm 1.1 was interesting, but I didn't really like it very much. It was a little too soft. The bokeh was a little too weird. Um, then came the 35mm f2. That lens was a lot better. It was very sharp. Um, it, it had an interesting look to it. It wasn't off-putting like the 50 millimeter was to me. And it was really small, awesome, built really well. And I really, really enjoyed that lens. This new lens is even a step beyond that one. So the build quality of this lens is absolutely fantastic. It's all metal, the aperture ring is clicky and full stops, it's completely smooth, the focusing is really smooth, and it just looks really, really nice. It has a nice kind of anodized aluminum finish, uh, is what it looks like. I'm not sure if it's 100% aluminum on the outside, but it definitely has a really high quality look, and it looks damn good on the Leica M6. And I, I, I just mount it to the camera and just look at my camera sometimes and I think it looks really, really good. It does kind of have that Leica feel without being a direct one-to-one -one copy of the 28mm Sumalux. It definitely has a different style to it and I think it actually looks really, really nice. So one thing that I kind of wish that Seven Artisans would have done with this lens was to add a focusing tab to it. I know the lens is already pretty big, but I just really prefer that when it comes to uh, manual focus lenses, especially rangefinder lenses. They do, however, include an adhesive rubber focusing tab, which is actually really good. And I put it on right after I got the lens and it's been on ever since it survived the trip to China and still holding strong and I and I use it all the time. So that's actually a really cool addition that they throw into the box for free in all of their lenses that don't already have a tab on it. But I thought that was really cool and I and I use it all the time, but I really wish that that was just built onto every lens, but that's just me. The image quality on this lens is is awesome, and that's where I think this lens really stands out from the rest of these kind of cheap Chinese lenses. I think Seven Artisans is really trying to break the stigma of Chinese lenses being kind of these cheap toy almost lenses that that they never really perform all that great, but they have these great numbers on paper, like, oh, it's 0.95, it looks awesome, but it looks like you're looking through a periscope or something. But these lenses are actually really, really high quality. I've been surprised each and every time they've released a new lens, the bar just keeps getting set higher and higher. And I think this so far is the pinnacle of Seven Artisans craftsmanship. The lens is super sharp, wide open, obviously just gets sharper as you stop down. The bokeh is really, really nice looking, especially for a wide angle lens. A lot of the times the bokeh in the far corners on wide angle lenses will start looking a little weird, but this actually looks great. I'm actually glad that this isn't just super, super cheap. It's, uh, it's $480, which is cheap for what it is, but it's not necessarily just like, it's inexpensive, but not cheap. 
if you want to use the semantics of the words there. I really think that they kind of knocked it out of the park with this lens. Really the only drawbacks to me are the size and weight of this lens. To me, I like having the smallest and lightest gear possible, but this lens definitely isn't that. I did take it with me to China and I used it quite a bit while I was there, but it's just a little bit too heavy for me to just be my leave it on my camera everyday lens. But I definitely could see that this lens would come in handy in specific situations for me personally. It covers about one sixth of the viewfinder on my Leica M6, so that could be an issue for some people that need to do kind of more precise framing on a rangefinder, but that being said, you shouldn't really be doing super precise framing on a rangefinder anyway, since it's not really the tool for the job. But those are actually pretty minor complaints because this lens is actually quite great. I would recommend it for anybody who's looking to get a wide angle faster lens for their Leica to do street shooting. This is a great street lens. Obviously, again, the only drawback is the size, but you can get some really cool street portraits, especially if you want some shallow depth of field, but with a little more context in your images. This lens is really, really good for that. I can already say that I'm almost converting from a 35 millimeter fan to a 28 millimeter fan now because you get that wider shot, but you still get that shallow depth of field if you need it. So you get kind of these good environmental contextual portraits with it, which can be really, really cool. So this lens comes in at $480, which is the most expensive Seven Artisans lens to date, but I definitely think the price is warranted for this lens. The other lenses that you would get of this type would be the Sumalux 1.4, 28 millimeter from Leica. That lens is 60, almost $6,600. So this is about $6,000 cheaper than that lens. That lens is, is marginally lighter than this one and it does come with a bayonet mounted lens hood, which this one does not have a lens hood. And then the other option that you could get for a, a fast 28 millimeter rangefinder lens would be the Voigtlander Ultron F2, which is about $600. It's only F2 and it's about half the weight of this lens. Those are kind of really the only options. So this is still the cheapest option and one of the fastest options. So you really need to ask yourself, do you need the extra sharpness or potential increase in build quality going with the $6,000 Leica lens? Or is this image quality, bokeh, build quality acceptable for a $6,000 discount, basically? It's definitely a lens that I'll be using in the future. So I enjoy lenses that have a combination of sharpness and character. A lot of times you'll get lenses that are perfectly sharp, but they all look identical and everything's perfect corner to corner. The bokeh is perfectly round, but I like my lenses to have a little bit more character to them. And this lens, definitely delivers without feeling like a toy lens, which that's kind of the stigma a lot of these cheap Chinese lenses have is that they're cheap, they're kind of just like a toy gimmick lens, but Seven Artisans is really a company that I feel is trying to break that mold and, and make something that's really high quality without kind of having that stigma of it just being a kind of a cheap knockoff lens. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to be releasing a video next week uh, showing how I shot the B-roll for this video in my hotel in China. So stick around for that. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.